Hey guys, what's up? My name is Blinks, and today we're going to be looking at how to play the Medic. So, Medic is the newest hero in Hero of the Storm. Uh, she is very much a dedicated support. She is very fun, and I think that there is a lot of uh, potential in her to, like, see high skill players be rewarded for high skill play. So, let's go over her skills really quick. Her Q is a single target heal, which doesn't have a cast time. Uh, or a cooldown, so you can cast it on, you know, different heroes as quickly as you like. The only thing about it is you actually cannot cast it on yourself, so she can't heal herself. Her W, uh, is a buff that you can place on yourself or other heroes that reduces damage that's incoming. Her E is a ranged skill shot, just like a grenade, and then when it blows up, it knocks everything away. But it blows up when it hits the first thing it hits, not like Tiger's grenade, where you can pick where it lands. And then her passive is, whenever she's out of combat... <coughs> Sorry, whenever she doesn't take damage for, I think, four seconds, she starts regenerating health. So, even though she can't heal herself, she re regens health pretty fast. Um, so let's take a look at the team comps. We have Stitches, Rexar, Chen, Tass, and me. So that's uh, triple damage. Or sorry, triple tank. And then they have... They also have triple tank. So because they have triple tank and because I don't feel very safe, I'm actually going to take Trauma Trigger. So what that does is whenever I get below 50% health, I get the buff that reduces damage I take by 25% for 3 seconds. Um, so early game, kind of what you want to do, especially on this map, is just follow people around. Uh, you're going to quickly realize that the thing that makes medic challenging well it's twofold right one is mana management and the other one is positioning 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 so i'm going to be talking about positioning a lot uh during my games or during this game so right now the bosses haven't spawned yet we're just kind of messing around i'm keeping my mana up not healing too much and just trying to push a lane as much as i can we should be able to out push a little bit because their stitches isn't really playing too aggressive on our troops heal up our stitches and now the boss is spawn. So we can look to get oh, we can look to get aggressive on this to Ronda actually. Ooh, that was really good. Can I double you myself? Nope. Not quite enough. So yeah, that was a good hook. That was definitely me playing greedy. Um right now not really too worried about what's going on bottom, not even that worried about what's going on top. What we want to do is eventually make our way over to their boss and start uh start damaging it, because right now both teams are going to the boss, and I think that that's kind of disadvantageous for us, just because they have a Tyrande. And with Hunter's Mark, if they get on the boss before us, right, even if they get on the boss at the same time as us, we are going to have a rough time. Um, the nice thing about playing a Medic in this comp, actually, is that Stim Drone is going to give us a lot of damage that we otherwise, you know, would be lacking. Uh, kind of to go along with the fact that we have, uh, what's it called, triple tank, I'm actually going to take advanced block instead of bio shield because I'm really worried about, like, my survivability, which is definitely something that Medic, uh, struggles with. If you're playing Medic, be careful because the other team will dive you, and if you're playing against Medic, you should be diving, uh, the enemy team. Or, sorry, you should be diving the enemy Medic. As soon as this Chen drinks again, I'm going to stun him to stop him from getting shield. Or not stun him, but, um... See, I can't, I can't heal myself right now, guys. So we can pass on, but interrupt. And, alright, Tass shielded me, that's good. Right now I need to run away, blow these guys back with my E. Hopefully I'll be alright. Oh, there's a here. Oh, I got another shield, great. And now I just kind of want to, like, hang back. I'm going to tap, and between my tap and my passive health region, I should be fine to just come right back in. Good job, good job, good job. So once again, just healing people up, and, and like, I'm staying as far in the back as I possibly can. You guys are gonna die a lot when you first start playing Medic. You're, you're gonna die over and over and over again, and you're gonna be frustrated. And the reason that is, is because positioning is just so important on here. Like, it, positioning is king. I call her Positioning Princess, alright, because, like, th that's literally the hero. You have to be able to position one. You kind of have to play passive until, I would say, I would say the whole game, honestly. At 13, you can play a little bit less passive, because we're going to take a talent that does let us self-heal. need to go here, guys. Team. Nice kill. But yeah, like, I'm always conscious of where the enemy team could be coming from, and I'm trying to stay, like, as far away from them as possible. If my team dives into the enemy team, 
it's okay for them to do that. People are gonna learn that you can't do that with Medic. Right now, she just came out, people are like, oh, I'll just pick Illidan, and then I'll dive into the enemy team as Illidan, and then Medic will dive with me, and we'll win, right? But no, that's that's not the way it works. You can't dive as Medic, just don't go into their team. I'm gonna be talking a lot this game about, like, alright, I'm staying back, staying back, staying back, because it's not safe, because... I think she's probably the most unsafe hero in the game. Her E gives her, like, a little bit of survivability, I guess, because you can knock people back that are chasing you. I'll go top, I'll go top. But, uh, otherwise, it's, it's rough. So, just at level 7, uh, here we kind of have a choice between Radiate and Cleanse. So, I'm not really worried about cleansing my teammates too much, mostly because, uh, we have three tanks and Tassadar, so that already is, like, really, really hard to kill. And then, I don't want to be cleansing myself, so we're gonna take Radiate and just give, our, give ourselves a little bit more damage. Getting my heal on Rexar, maybe getting some damage. Maybe should have done that a little bit earlier. Now I'm waiting for Chin to drink, see if I can knock him back. Uh, ooh, Grave Hook, Grave Hook fight this. Healing Chen right now, I'm positioning back, positioning back. Even though everybody's up there, I still have to stay back, stay safe. Heal on Rexar, I'm boom, I need to go back now. I can give Stitches a tiny little heal. Alright, he's dead. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the hook of death. And now I'm going back to get more mana because you, if you don't have mana on this hero, you're literally, you're so useless. She has so little attack damage. We are level A right now. She has 96 attack damage. That is terrible. I think that's, that might even be worse than Lily. So, I mean, it's important to be auto-attacking, to be right-clicking things, but, like, she doesn't do a lot for attack damage. Just focus on positioning during games. If you position well... You should be able to live the whole fight and just spend your mana healing, and then your team will be like, Oh, hey, you live. Thanks thanks for healing us. That was pretty cool. I liked when you did that. With the W on Rexar right now, he's taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna see if I can bully this guy off. I can't. So there we go, guys. Right now, I just made a positioning mistake. They're not gonna punish me for it. They should. They 100% should have killed me there. I kind of thought Rexar would maybe uh, stick around a little bit longer than they did. But he didn't. So that's kind of both on my both my fault and his fault. I don't think we could have taken that, but we could have <clears throat> possibly bullied and waited for Stitches to come up, waited for somebody else to come up and save us or help us. So we are gonna hit ten before <clears throat> before them. Uh oh, Rex. Uh oh. We are gonna hit ten before them. So that's that's really good for us on this next boss fight. We kind of want to go straight to their boss and start damaging it if we can. Stitches is fine up here. Obviously, I can't go and start damaging their boss because I'm, like, awful. Once again, guys, yeah, Medic is awful damaging. But what you want to be doing with this hero generally is just following people around. So let's see if our triple tank beats their, uh, triple tank plus to round up. I don't think it does, but when we get Stim drones, hopefully Stitches took, uh, oh, Stitches did not take Tender either, so... Let's think about that. If Stitches didn't take Tenderizer, it might be best to cast Stim Drone on Tess if he takes uh, Archons. If he does, he does. Alright. So we're going to take Stim Drone, and we're going to have to make a decision basically each fight about who to Stim. It's not going to be a. It's a oh, this guy all the time or that guy all the time. So Healing Chen right now, just trying to keep everybody topped off. Healing Stitches. I know, that was bad of me to get stunned there, but once again, I'm just staying back, staying safe, getting my W on Chen, trying to get some damage of him. Nice, nice, nice. You did a really good job with that barrel. I'm gonna knock these guys back to keep Chen safe. I'm gonna stim as actually. Should be about to get a whole lot of healing. I'm out of position a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yeah. So once again, I made the mistake of me moving up a little bit there to try to save Chen when he was about barreling. I mean, it's still something that even I struggle with, that you just, you literally, you can't get into an unsafe position with this hero. Especially in, in solo queue, right? So right now I'm, I'm duo queuing, which is basically the same thing as solo queue. <clears throat> and what you want is, like, if you're playing on a team with Medic, your comp is kind of like protect the Medic, because... If you protect your medic, she's gonna keep you alive. That's like that's all there is to it. Her healing is completely insane. So if she makes the mistake of moving up, you need to try to move up with her. Uh, on the other hand, if you're playing medic, you know don't don't move up without your team. You can't you can't trust your team to, to know what you want to do. You can't trust your team to read your mind and be like, ah, oh, all right, I should move up with this medic. Cause they're not gonna do that. Here comes the hook. No, maybe not. So once again, guys, just like playing back, 
playing safe positioning. Playing back, playing safe positioning. W on Rexar right now. Chen went in, so he's not even taking that much damage. It's fine. Stitches was there. That could have been a lot more punishing. Chen's going a little too far. I can't I can't really step up and heal him because of where the stitches is. Like he could just he could just straight up pull me in the team. Now Chen's close enough putting W on Chen right now to mitigate some damage. And he healing him back up. There's a hook, alright. I'm glad I saw that one coming. Remember, I'm always right-clicking while I do this. If they commit a little bit more into us, I can stim drone, and uh, we can potentially like go for a kill. Let's see if Tess's Archon's up. Tess's Archon is up. So I'm gonna stim him now and just hope to God that he that he Archons. But okay, he didn't. He's, he still has an Archon. That's fine. Should w on myself right now. Gonna have to dodge this Tyrande Sun if it comes out. Okay, it didn't. Oh, I got hooked again. Dang. They're not doing a really good job of uh, what's it called. Knocking back. They're not a really good job of focusing me, which is good. So, yeah. I'm still alive back here. Everything's still going fine. I have to tell my team I'm blue. So, after this next fight, I'm going to tell Pass to try to, what's it called? I try to Archon when I stand I have tap right now, so I need to go back, hit the tap, and come back to these guys. Nice kill, nice kill. W on Taz in case he took some free damage. Healing Chen now. So this is this is totally like a slugfest, right? Like triple warrior versus triple warrior. But this it, it's also like really good practice and really good demonstration of how to play medic or Morales properly. I'm gonna stun him out of his drink. Good job, team. I'm gonna try to get the Chen, give him a little bit of a heal. And now I'm going back for getting full mana and getting ready for this next boss fight. So on that fight, I did a lot better job of like. Playing patiently, positioning, even with the stitches on their team, able to walk up and gorge me and then hook me. Like, you just want to stay back and like let your team do the work because you're basically you're basically there only to help your team do the work. Um, we're gonna take couples therapy because I want to have a little bit more survivability in case I get caught out. Because against triple tank, it's it's very likely that I will get caught out. Couldn't quite get there in time. Can't really see who's getting focused now, so I don't know who to W. But it looks like we're all like doing fine, really. Chen's about to take a lot of damage. Putting W on Chen. Stim drone is still up. If they commit in, I can use it for now. I don't really need to. I'm use it on stitches right now. Good, good, good. Chen's on me, not a big deal. Wait for him to drink. Disrupting it. He might use his uh, Panda Palace here. Maybe it's not up. Good kill, good kill, good kill. Needed to uh, just let him know that. And like we're in a really, really good place right now. And a big part of that I think is I'm pretty sure I'm out healing their medic at 42k to 32k, and that's just because I'm playing safer, right? I'm playing safer, I'm, I'm letting my team do the work. It's really hard for my team to mess up what they're doing because uh, because I'm healing them, right? So even if they step out of position, take a bunch of damage, I, I just heal them right back up. When you play Medic, you are the liability on your team, all right? The enemy, like, this this here's gonna get released and first everybody's gonna be like, oh my god, Medic's so OP, we don't know what to do against it. But then like, two or three games, or maybe like one or two hours after the patch hits, everybody's gonna realize, huh, I guess all you have to do to counter Medic is literally just click on her. And that's when your life's gonna get really tough, but not if you guys understand that positioning is everything. Remember guys, Morales is a positioning princess. That's, that's all there is to it. W on Rexar right now. Run some damage. This around is very out of position. Should be a pretty free kill. And now I'm healing Stitches. So just always, always be spot healing people up. If you are running into excessive mana problems, then don't do that. Do not always spot uh, spot heal people up. You're gonna have a bad time if you do that. All right, 16. We're gonna take shield sequence here. That's because we have a really big front line right now, and like I want to be able to cast W on multiple people. So I can cast it on Rexar right there. That's fine. Shen's about to take some damage. I'm gonna cast it on him too. If I see my team's getting in trouble, I go. I can always E, knock them back. All right, I got Gorge. I'm gonna knock him back now. Body block him into here. 
really not much they can do. I'm taking, uh, I'm taking damage from the tower, which is really bad. Oh, all right. So yeah, Gorge put me out of position there. I got a little bit greedy with body blocking him. So once again, guys, positioning, positioning, positioning. Isn't Toronto dead? Maybe she died and came back up. Wow. Next boss is gonna be up relatively soon, but we should be alive by the time it's up again. I also think I should have used my stim drum earlier in that fight, but it's kind of difficult to judge, like in a triple tank versus triple tank, like who's running away and who's not. I I need to trust my Tassadar to just arc on when I when I stim drone him. So I think that mistake was 100% on me. But I hope you guys are seeing a common theme in this uh, video, like. When I get put out of position, either by Sitch's Gorge or by Sitch's Hook, which obviously is gonna, like, it's pretty effective against me right now because I'm trying to explain everything I'm doing while playing. Uh, I have a bad time, and our, and our team has a pretty bad time, but, but when that doesn't happen, like, it, it feels like we can do anything we want, basically. I, I, Alright, I really wanted to get on there, but I didn't because my is a position princess, guys. I didn't know who's over here, I didn't know who's up there. I feel Tass right now. This should be a dead, uh, dead Leoric. Oh, maybe not. Oh my goodness. Got Gorge again. I'm gonna W myself out of this. I'm gonna Stim Jones Stitches here. And actually, by healing him right now, I'm healing myself. Me team. Good job, thanks Tess. Maybe they do not like me. W on myself right now. Do some damage I'm taking to Tess so it heals me. Man, stitches for stitches is crazy. And now we're in a really, really good spot. So not only are we able to uh to what's it called? Win that team fight. I got my stim drone off, which is big. Um like Stitch has got a lot of really really good hooks. He caught Leoric out of position, and it's all all that stemmed stemmed from me. What's it called? Not taking that, not standing up. And I was like, well, I want to go contest it, and I could have, and I you know maybe I would have held it. Maybe we we would have even gotten it, but, but because I didn't take that like free damage early when I got pulled over the wall, I was able to live. And you just you just got to be really 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 patient with medic. Patience, positioning, oh man, guys. Sad. I think I just got stunned like three times in a row. Nice. Alright, should be a dead video here too. And just stay behind. Like, like this is... Medic is very much a hero you play, like, in a group of friends. When you're just like, friends, you know... I want you guys to be the best that you can be, alright? I, I, I want you to play to the max of your potential. And it's not necessarily that you get carried when you play Medic, because it's really easy to throw a game by, like, when you play Medic. Just, you just, like, step out of position. And your team loses their support, and you guys lose a team fight. Like, there, there's a lot of skill involved in playing it, it's just different from playing, like, an Assassin. Or a hero, like, I don't know, like, a monk where you where it's about playing aggressive, right? Let's get Stim Drone down there. Oh, he gorged me during Stim Drone, that was really good. I don't know if that was on purpose, but... Stitches is doing a good job of pushing me out of position, and yeah, like, Medic has been out for, I think, what, like, two days now? So people are, on the on the PTR, I mean, so people are figuring out how to play against her. You just gotta focus. We should do pretty well with this push top. I'm not worried about what's going on bottom. Looks like we have to be able to creep equilibrium in there. And yeah, just staying back. We are gonna take... Hmm... We're gonna take Storm Shield this game, just because we have three tanks and Storm Shield is based on, like, life percentage, like, it's, it's super worth The Stim Drone Stitch is here. I kinda started Stim Drumming him instead of Tass, because even though I told Tass to, uh, to what's it called? <laughs> to Archon when I Stim Drone him. I don't really trust that he's gonna do that. We can definitely push the win here. I'm gonna put my heal on Chen right now. I'm almost out of mana, but I have my Storm Shield. Getting my storm shield and then yeah, this should be game. So variations on this build: a big one is at level 20, you can take the Lucius Reactor 2.0 because you get mana back with it, and then you just you don't really have mana problems anymore. Um, you can take a bio shield 
at level 4 if you don't think you'll need block. And, uh, I don't know. Otherwise, this build was pretty standard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, like, the standard, whatever that means, medic build, into the uh, description of the video below, and also the one I used here. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I am trying to make videos every weekday. I, I'm trying to do every day, but I think every weekday is more realistic. Um, and don't forget to like the video and tell me what you thought in the comments below. Uh, my name has been Blinks, and see you guys next time. Bye.